Let's move on and take a look at some of the other championship races on day two and, of course, the handicaps as well. I really like Red Sherlock in the Neptune, Mick, one for the big races and one for the handicaps. Yeah, uh, a horse that Paul Nichols has running in the, in the Fred Winter is very interesting. They've protected this horse's handicap, Mark. Cat Gary, it's called. He's won in France. They've won this race with a horse called Sanctuaire, and this is a similar profile. They've deliberately not run him because they want to keep him on the mark he's on. And I think it's significant. Goodwood Mirage, similar thing been happening with him. Goodwood he's Mirage, he will be a mirage. We see him coming up the hill in front. He's a flat horse, a good flat horse, but it looks like they've been looking after him all season, shall we say. So I thought he might be interesting in that. There's Some only one problem with Goodwood Mirage, Gina. Eight hurdles. They're in his way. Bill... One else, one um, other on the card? The first race on the day of, on the Wednesday, the Neptune, there is a horse that's been well backed in the last few days called Rath Vinden. It's the second string of Willie Mullins. The favourite here is Willie Mullins called For He. And that's, that's supposedly the machine that was unbeatable. But Rath Vinden is his stable mate. He was 16s this time last week. He'll be shorter again on the day. Two trips to the UK. He fell at Warwick. Wasn't necessarily right last time. Chased home Red Sherlock. I think he's the best bet on day two each way. Raf Vinden in the first and the Neptune. Um, and then elsewhere on the card, Coral Cup. Um, there is a horse here called Bayan. Comes over from Ireland. Um, I'm expecting that to be a big gamble on the day. Uh, it looks like it hasn't had a run for 100 days. It has. It won a charity race a couple of weeks ago very easily. Trained by Gordy Elliott. This could be the Irish plot on day two. Each way, Bayan. I think there's still 14s around. Definitely won't be 14s on the day. Bayan, yeah, 14s currently for the Coral Cup, one for Bill. Tom, uh, where will you be looking? Gina, just one other bet on Wednesday for me. That'll be in the RSA chase. A uh, horse called Carlingford Lock, who 15 months ago was plodding round down the field in Irish chases, waiting for the day when the brakes were going to come off. Uh, they came off in emphatic style in Galway last summer, and you thought to yourself, aye, aye, you should have seen this coming. Um, he's also a graded winner. He's got a lot of ability. Uh, he's trained by a top, top man. And you stop and think to yourself, actually, he might make the step up. This could be exactly what he needs, and he's eight to one. I, I like the sound of him as well, Carlingford Lock. He's got AP on board. He just unseated AP, he took a bit of a knock last time out. This is a race where you need the toughest of the tough. It's stamina sapping. Bally Casey, for a race of this nature, he could get found out. Yeah, he, he could. And, and the worry for Bally Casey is he's a horse who took a long time to find his feet as well. He, he ran in three pointer points and couldn't win. <laughs> That, that is a, a little bit of a concern for me. He, you know, he did dawdled around at Leopardstown last time and he had the run of the race. There's no doubt he's a very good horse. He's from a very good firm, but he's too short in a race like the RSA. It is a graveyard for favourites. And for me, I, I'd be looking elsewhere for a bit of value. And I agree with Tom. I think Carlingford Lock, rock solid, won a Galway plate, has good form, will stay, jumps really well. The sort of thing that you need in a race like the RSA. I'm not saying it's going to win, but I think at a price, it's very backable each way. I think it's 10 or 12 to 1, so you could do a lot worse than the backers. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I mean, one thing, bookmakers aren't stupid, and they know the horses that people want to back, and they tend to be the ones ridden by Ruby Walsh and trained by Willie Mullins. So when Bally Casey won the PJ Moriarty in Ireland, he was always going to collapse in price, however impressive he was, because people want to back horses that have had, pre you know, from stables that have trodden the same path. He's won the RSA chase with previous horses, having, having won that PJ Moriarty. He's actually won the RSA chase with a horse that's fallen in schooling before, Rule Supreme. Yeah. One fell the same day. So those that have back Valley Casey, don't lose your faith because uh, Rule Supreme fell on the same day on the Sunday and came back and won it two weeks later. I'd like to see a tougher sort, though. I think I'm with Tom Carlingford Lock for me in the RSA. Hopefully that's put you the way of a few big price winners on day two.